Growing up, I had a really great sense of what it means to understand your culture through food. You can create community, and I think that's really fascinating. And that's guided me through a lot of my passion projects, including this one, which speaks to food insecurity and what that means in your food choices. This project, because it is more meaningful and I want to bring more attention to it, I felt stop motion would be the best way to do that, to kind of make people stop and, and look at each frame and think about what does it mean for the total story and, and the greater picture. We've got keywords and they each have a different kind of feature to them that's speaking to different issues. The first one is nourishment. The idea is to show what are the foods you can buy and then as the money depletes, we're kind of seeing different options. Yeah, and let's leave like three jars. So the concept behind scarcity was to envision what it would look like for somebody to go through a month of eating. We start with our, our very full pantry shelves and then it slowly, slowly you see things being eaten away and taken away until it just depletes to basically nothing. Food insecure is somebody that as the month goes by, their food access is gonna dwindle and they're not gonna have a supply of food at the end of the month. A little bit toward the camera, a little bit forward. Yes, perfect. So our third shot was joy. The whole idea and, and the way that we lit it was to insinuate that this is a joyful, bright experience of sharing meals with others to build culture, to build community, to, to strengthen a family. The concept behind efficiency is what are the quickest meals that are going to allow you the most time to do other things in your life. So we get to see these different rotating items in the microwave. And then we have chicken timer on top of the microwave just to symbolize time passing. It's gonna be a cool one with the friggin' the pixel shift when yeah. we get that crazy resolution. Yeah. Yeah. Pixel shift was actually really easy to do. With the stable tripod or studio stand, you're able to get this ginormous resolution file, which for things like a really detailed still life, really allows you to see all of those elements in a way you wouldn't be able to if you, if you didn't utilize pixel shift. You put the world on paper and you hope that you'll be able to accomplish it and that's why you picked the right team. Nice. Perfect. Wow. Okay, great. I know that being a, a woman in this business can be tough sometimes. I've been on sets where I'm the only woman on set, so for me it was really paramount that I brought an all-female team. It was kind of the dream team for me. I think that's what I'm most happy about, is just the collaborative process. Everybody was in good spirits, and we were able to make what was on paper come to life. Being in the industry as a commercial food photographer, I get to see how much waste we have with food. So that's what pushed me to speak about this and understand that there's different, different lives being lived.